Alright. Am I live? Yeah, buddy. Alright, is my mic working? Is everything good? Yeah. Alright. Seems to be good. Alright. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, everybody? Team View here, back again in Oaklands. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be, um,. Getting ready for the big update that is coming out on, I think, Saturday, right? The 13th. I'm pretty sure it's Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday the 13th. The big update with all the flowers and berries and Easter and St. Patrick stuff. And, uh, you know, it's going to kind of figure out what to do, how to get ready. I don't know where to start other than getting a bunch of jars and stuff. And, I don't know. If you guys have any ideas or whatever we should do for prepping for the update, let me know. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to get a bunch of these jars right here. I don't want to buy that, but yeah. How's everybody doing? Sorry, I'm eating. My food just came in like as I was stream, as as I started my stream. Mm. My grilled chicken sandwich. I'm gonna take a bite really quick. You're always eating on stream. That's what's up. Mm. Mm. Grilled chicken sandwich. Got some cheese, bacon, spinach, mushrooms. Some mayo. Really good. What's up, Michael? How's it going? Alright. Oh, sorry, I had to take a couple bites first. Mmm. So good. Chicken sandwich. Alright, so. What I'm going to do is buy a bunch of jars, right? Because let's go check out the typical developer Discord really quick just to go over all the kinds of things that's been going on. So, um, the foraging update release. Uh, we've been working on long and hard on the latest update, the foraging update. Our, we are excited to announce the update we'll be releasing on April 13th, which is Saturday this weekend. All right. And they're going to be adding flowers. They're going to be adding fruits. They're adding this machine where you can make, I don't know if it's juice or jam or what. Maybe jam. I don't know. Plus, there's going to be the uh, St. Patrick stuff and Easter stuff. The thing I'm not too sure what's going to happen with the Easter one. Because, like, you know, for Easter last year, right? We got the Easter baskets and then there was eggs all around to collect. Is there going to be, like, since these are going to, I think, be... These might be permanent. Um, so... I'm not sure how that's going to work, if we're always going to be able to look for eggs and stuff, or I don't know. And then there's going to be the St. Patrick stuff, where you can get like the pot of gold with the coins and stuff, and all that other kind of things. Um, they might add a cannon, I don't know. Oh, uh, anything else about this? Oh yeah, and then they have all these colors and stuff. Maybe a new material for building or something. Or maybe we're going to be able to like paint stuff. I don't know. 
I'd be cool if we could make our own paint and like paint wood and stuff or whatever and change it to different colors and whatnot. Um, there's gonna be new areas, obviously. Lots of new stuff going on. We're gonna bring back the Oop Lake. I'm guessing the lake will return. Um, with a bunch of flowers. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't think there's much else. You think they're adding cloth? Anyways, I want to buy a bunch of jars and what's up, Gamer Nick? What's uh, what's the name of your sister's uh, username? I accepted your sister's friend request. Your sister should be able to join. I got it, I got it. You know, no worries. Oh wait, is that part a part of it too? So anyways, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing good and all that good stuff. E. More homework, Mr. Tomato Man. Doing good, Chad. Are you getting fireflies? Because uh, if you look closely at this picture right here, you'll see that there's this new machine, but in the middle here, it looks like some sort of jar. So we might be needing jars. I'm not sure how all this is gonna function or whatever, but I, I, I could be wrong. Maybe we don't need jars. Maybe they're gonna add something new. But, I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that we need to use the jars for this. I hope I'm right. I hope it's not like we have to buy, like, the the special jars or something, like some sort of special jar from uh, the store that they had or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Didn't they also have a cherry tree place with the shop and so Where is that? A cherry tree shop. Uh, I wonder if this is another thing because there's another jar machine here. Uh, there's gonna, oh yeah, all this stuff right here. They're gonna be adding. I want to. I think this might be coming with the update. They're gonna add a bunch of like vases and pots and things for like flowers and stuff. I guess a new shop. Um, this place, the flower shop or something. So, there's a lot to expect with this update. There's a lot going on, you know what I mean? So, we gotta, we gotta be ready for it. And I don't know if what I'm doing is the best thing to do. I don't really know what to do. I wanna try to build some sort of logic thing that lets me teleport all these jars like into my inventory if I needed them or whatever 
And I'm not sure how to do that, but I kind of have an idea of how to do that, just using like interactors or whatever. And some sort of chat command thing. Or something. Which if you guys know any logic stuff, let me know. I could use some help with some logic or whatever. I don't think you can do that. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you can. Because you can do that with tools, right? You can make a thing where you can uh, spawn your tools in your inventory with logic, right? Using interactors, basically. You didn't know that? Wow. This update's gonna be big. Big update. Indeed it is. I think there's enough jars. More jars is always good. Yeah. I'm just gonna fill up one truckload, or at least as much as I can, with however much money I have left. Now I'm not gonna use all my money on it, but <sighs> ah. And you're probably right, I don't really need this many jars, but it's nice to have a lot of jars, okay? No, no, are you on the stream? How are you doing, no, no? Um, I'm getting the jars for the update, because if you look on the typical developer Discord, there's a picture of this machine, right? And there's jars on the machine, on the picture thing. Chicken sandwich. I saw Brick cancel this stream or something. Or he was going to stream today. He was going to wax his legs. We got two thousand subscribers. I guess you had to cancel it. Rip. This not me, bruh. I swear. Yeah. How's your pizza? No. 
I have a grilled chicken sandwich. I can't have too much pizza. I like pizza, but pizza doesn't really go good for my stomach as much these days. But if I had a pizza, it would be a pineapple pizza, pineapple pepperoni, or pineapple and chicken. I love pineapple on pizza. Whoever doesn't like pineapple on pizza, they, there's something wrong with them. I bet people like that don't like pineapple on pizza just never ate pineapple on pizza or they got pineapple on a pizza from a place that just has really bad pineapple. Because, you know, there are places that use bad pineapple. <sighs> What's going on? Alright, I think this is enough jars for now. We'll just work with this and see what we can do. It's just weird on pizza. Is tomato a fruit? Isn't tomato a fruit? It's tomato vegetable. I forget which one is it. Sneak peek. Is there a sneak peek? An update. Introduced more anti cheat systems. Fix duplication method. Hey. That's not a sneak peek, bruh. I thought you said there was a sneak peek. Guys, the update is here. Oh my god! Just kidding. It's just a bug fix. Or whatever. I'm trying to get rid of all the cheaters. Alright. Now. I need to buy some uh, logic, maybe. Actually, I have some logic. Yeah, I have a little bit. Let's see what I can do. Pepperoni and bacon is gonna pizza. Yeah, the only problem I have with bacon on pizza is usually they never cook it good enough, you know. Like the bacon is usually like either not like nice and crispy or something or whatever. But I love bacon. I love I I, lo I wouldn't mind bacon on pizza if it's good bacon. You Canadian bacon? That's not bacon. That's that's like that's like a what? That's like ham but harder. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Canadian bacon. I'm sorry. Never was. <laughs> All right, let me drive over here. Do, 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 do. All right. So, the jars are already going crazy in my truck. Let me respawn my truck. And I need some building materials. <sighs> Normal bacon is thin. Have you ever had thick cut bacon? You can get bacon that's a thick cut. I mean, you know. It's a thing. <sighs> okay, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, what am I gonna build? I guess I'll just use oak wood. I got a bunch of oak wood. Just a tree chop a little bit here. Alright, 
Yeah, thicker cut bacon is good, but Canadian bacon is not good. It's not even bacon. Or, well, at least it doesn't seem like it's bacon. I don't know. What's up, Orvis? Now that we're talking about all this, we're going to need another bite of my grilled chicken sandwich. It's good today. Okay. Well, and if you're all wondering why I was late, a little late for my stream today, just because I was watching a, a live stream of this guy that, got, that was doing, like, like, I guess, a fundraiser to save like rhinos or something. But basically, what he was doing in the stream is letting us a, a centipede bite him. The most venomous or poisonous or whatever centipede bite him. That's crazy. Centipedes are like spooky looking, man. Right? Biggest mass. Bloop. What's up, man? How's it going? We got 10 people here today. Dang! How's everybody doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm currently preparing for the update. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm getting. I got a bunch of jars, right? All these jars right here. It's not a lot, but some. Because the uh, and the new update that's coming is going to be adding the fruit machine or whatever this is, where we can either make jam or juice. I'm guessing it's jam, but what if it's juice also? Mm -hmm. I don't really know what it's going to be. Okay, so. Now, where did all the wood go? Uh, it's just like going to slow mo. Man, how am I going to do anything in this game when it's so slow? Man? Bleh. Alright. Let's figure out what I'm doing, right? So, one thing to keep in mind is I'm building some sort of logic thing that will spawn these jars into my inventory. And we have nine slots for tools and stuff. So, we gotta make some sort of shelving system or something. 
to store a bunch of jars plus be able to spawn the jars in my inventory and not sure how I'll be doing this but we'll figure it out Building the thing that I'll kind of be in. Bloop. Sounds like something that Brick would make. Chili? Cheesy bacon tater tots. Cheesy bacon tater tots could be good. As long as they're not like all soggy, you know. Oh, some coming. How are you doing, mate? All right. So let's get this over here. Yeah. Gonna chop, chop, chop it all up. We're gonna chop, chop, chop it all up. Yeah, chop, chop, chop it in chop. We're gonna chop it all up, chop it all up. Let's we'll do around here. Chop it all up. Yeah. Bloop. Good luck with what you're making. Are you heading out? All right, no, no. See you later, man. Thanks for being here. Are you gonna make some food? Are you coming back, or what's going on? It's late. You had out from that. All right, man. Take it easy. Thanks for being here, as always. Appreciate it. Alright man, well have a good night, see you later, okie dokie, now let's get a jar, so the jar will be inside of this, right, so Let's do one jar there. Let's put a little thing in between to divide. So that go something like that. Let's chop this into smaller pieces. Oops. Bloop. 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 Okay. 
it's around. Let's get that. Just there. Now I don't know if I'll have to have this whole set up, but I'm just doing it because I've always wanted to make this anyways. So that should be That's funny, he said he at the same time, I said it. I didn't even see her, you type that until I started saying it. That was funny. With me. I'm like, if I saw that. How do you like the shaders? Makes Minecraft a lot nicer. It's crazy. Depends on the shaders. Some shaders can make games look the background button. But shaders are not that bad though. For they don't really generate much light, I think. Okay. 
chat like this. Goes there. This to there. And this. Drop that down to there. Alright. One row of jars. Watch, I do all this and we don't even need jars. <laughs> or there's like just something new in the game. I hope, th I hope that we need jars. I don't even know if this is what we need or whatever, but... I hope this is... So... Um... Let me see if I have logic. Let me get a bunch of things from back here. Might have to get more. up with the jar pretty much. Now I don't know if this thing collides with I guess if the whatever it collides with it, but basically we want that in there. My stream is lagging? It doesn't look like it's lagging. Looks fine on my screen. Try re refreshing the browser just in case. Question is if I take this out, can I put it back? Okay, okay so it does it does go through that. Good, 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 good. I'm kind of curious how the whole, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I don't even need to build this whole jar thing because like, I don't know, how does the jar, th I, wonder, I wonder how the update's going to work for the fruits and stuff in the jars, I wonder if you have to like put the fruits in the jars at your base or if like, or do you, are, we, are you going to be able to scoop up the fruits as you're picking them off trees and stuff, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not sure how, what this update is going to be like, but I'm just doing whatever, kind of. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But you guys should be ready too for the update. Make sure you guys get a bunch of jars, because we probably will need them. Unless they add a new jar, then oof. But I don't really know what's going to happen there. <laughs> Bloop. The jar price might go up. <laughs> From 2000 to 4000 Actually, 2000 to 5000 Yes. Let's go. So good. Alright, 
So, all the interactors are plugged into there. Um, now, oh yeah, I need the chat thingy, right? Or something. Do I, did I get it? I think I did. I need to get some. I'm gonna get the chat stuff. Chat logic, here I go. I might need. Does anyone in the server know how to uh, use logic? Because I might need help, depending if I get lost. <laughs> do, 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 do. What the heck happened to my vehicle? What are you doing? Okay, well, we should be okay. Right? We should be fine. Nothing happened there. Totally good. Yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What are we looking for? Chat. I need a bunch. Let's get 25 for now. I don't know what else I'll need. I forget if I have sliders at my. I think I do. What other things? I need. I think I had it right. Didn't I? I'll get more just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Uh, but also, I don't want to go broke soon. I don't think I'll need this, but. Actually, you know what? I'm going to skip that. I'm just going to get. I'm just going to get these for now and figure out. I say jar one doesn't work. I don't have it now. It does! Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Woo! I have summoned the jar into my hand. Woo! So cool. Now the question is, is anybody is anybody else able to say the command or is it just me that's able to say the command? Please. Can somebody say jar one in the chat? Matthew, say jar one. See if it does anything. Or Chad. 
It'll just spawn it into my inventory, but I just want to see. Okay, so yeah. Currently, anyone can make it spawn into my inventory, so that's not what we want. How do you make it so only, um, only you can get it, or only I can get it? I knew that that was going to happen. Uh, is it the slider that we need or something? I don't know. I don't even know. You can help. You know what to do. Alright. I'll uh, trust you. Alright, so what do, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? What is that? Do the end game. So the and game is what you need. So the check commander goes into the and gate. And the and gate goes into the slider. So you set it to the is it the lowest setting or the highest setting? I don't even know. <sighs> I'm guessing that's the lowest setting. Or is that 10? Or no, that's highest. I don't know. I don't even know. So just 10 power has to go in to that one. So now. Is it functioning? Let me uh, place the jar back. Yeah. All right, say jar one. Yay! So, if you guys want to be able to spawn stuff into your inventory, you know, without anyone else spawning it into your inventory. You need the uh, chat commander thing, you need the AND gate, you need a slider and an interactor. So you plug the chat command into the AND gate, you plug in the slider into the other side of the AND gate right here, and you have to make sure the setting I guess, is at 10, which is right there. And then you plug that into the interactor. I need a, you know, I need a slider you can use the interface with. Oh, the no, the number interface. Oh, so you can also use the number interface. So it's like there's different things that do the same thing. And do I have uh, what was it called? Inter number interface. Do I have? I don't think I have that. Let's go get one. I'm gonna try it. Hold up. Eesh. Right there, I see that. All right, got a bunch of these. So I have a bunch just in case I want to use this instead of the slider. Oops. All right. 
Oh yeah, more gates. Did I run out of gates? Alright, let's get more, just in case. Man, I'll get another stack of interactors too, just to have more of those. Because I've been using those a little bit. Um, where's the interactor again? Uh, I always get confused with everything around here. Is it over here? Interact right there. They need, they need to make this like a little easier to like see stuff. When I look at a bunch of words and stuff, I'm like, uh, I'm dyslexic, so I'm like, uh, what am I reading? <laughs> Now I hope I build this and it becomes useful for the update. I really hope it's useful. <laughs> if it's not, then I just wasted all my time doing nothing. But um, other things we can get ready for too. I have to get the Easter basket because I don't know if they're gonna have a the Easter egg thing where you look for Easter eggs. Because I wonder how that's gonna work. If it's gonna be permanent, like. Curious. Do I have an Easter basket on this base? I do. Got the Easter basket right here. So we can also use this in preparation for the update in case there is an Easter egg hunt. Because there is going to be the Easter. Uh, what is that? You have to set it to 10, you said, in order for it to work? Or does it have to be... Sorry, let's, let's change. 10. So that's 10. Alright, let me put the jar. So is it all working? It's all plugged in? Looks like that. Alright, just to make sure, Chad, can you say jar one just in case? And then I'll do jar one also. Just to confirm that nobody else can do it. There we go. It's working. So if I say jar one, it goes into my inventory. Very nice. Let's go. W's in the chat. Let's go. Thank you, Chad, for uh, helping me out with this. W's in the chat for Chad. Let's go. Now, I just have to do the same thing to all these, but I want to I wanna figure out a better way to hide this instead of just... Uh, let's see. I want to figure out the best option to... Actually, you know what you're doing is actually our... Actually, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, actually, we can't do this because there's going to be a lot more jars. So, uh, hmm. Maybe we could keep it like that. Maybe, maybe. It's just the problem would be is the actually here. 
This would have to turn. Too bad the, the numbers are on that side. Wait, is this, this is the. This is the number thing. It doesn't really matter too much, so let's go this way. You only need one of those. True, you can connect it to a bunch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. figure out let's have this actually the only thing I'm trying I gotta let me connect all the interactors first oh, well let me let me make the rest of the shelf so we can figure out how all this will kind of fit because there's gonna be a lot more interactors right and if we just have all these Stack and like that, it might not fit the way I would want it. So let me let me just build up this shelf and stuff. Put all those jars in there. Great. <laughs> oh, um, um, oh yeah, I need an this. What's up, Frederick? How's it going? 
to my engineers. Question, does the update also include St. Patrick's uh, Day event? Yes, the update will include St. Patrick's Day event, also Easter event. So there's a lot that is going to be added to this update. Lots of stuff will be brought back from the past uh, when we had the St. Patrick's Day last year and uh, Easter last year. I think most of that stuff is coming back. I'm not too sure. I'm not really sure exactly what's happening, but and it might even be a permanent addition to the game instead of it just being like a limited time, I think. So I'm not exactly sure yet, but we'll find out together. Internet is out and now I can play Oakland. If you're wondering who I'm typing, it's because I'm using a phone which has Sony. Nice, nice. Well, sorry to hear about your uh, internet going out. But, glad you're still here. Crazy man. Kind of wanted to set it up and show people how to do it. <laughs> oh well. It's all good. <sighs> what am I building? I am building a kind of like a toolbox type of thing, but mainly just for jars. So this will hold a bunch of jars, right? And I'm going to have all these like interactors and things behind here that will basically, I can say a, a, a chat command and um, the jar will spawn into my inventory and that way I can go and use the jars and stuff like that now I'm doing this because the update is coming out soon and they're adding this machine right here that it looks like you'll be needing jars now I don't know if we just put the jar in the machine or if we have to like carry the jars with us and you know maybe put the fruit in the jar or something I don't even know <laughs> I'm really curious to see how this goes like I could be doing this for no reason honestly but I, I could basically be doing this for no reason but um, basically what this is is just uh, a thing for a bunch of jars each row is one inventory full of jars so an inventory is where like you keep all your tools right all these this is the inventory right down here you get nine slots right so each row has nine slots which will be for 
What are you talking about, uh, Chad? Do you have an idea for what? Is the toilet still in Oaklands? I think it is. I think it is, right? You just gotta go to the Illumine Design Shop. Oh, well, I guess if you wanna build, uh, what are you, what are you trying to do? Or what, what are you, I guess build it, cause I don't know what you're doing. I'll be right back in a minute. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. So what are you building, Chad? What's going on? What are you doing, sir? Funnel jars. Well, you could do that with this too. Instead of uh, instead of having like um, we could change this to sliding doors. You know what I mean? Where once you uh, take something, then they all drop down or whatever, basically. That's what I was thinking of doing. I was just thinking about that before you even started doing anything. But uh, the only problem is that if we use sliding doors and stuff to make a thing, like, like one sliding door at the bottom, or maybe two at the bottom, like one for like a uh, row of jars above that will drop after like um, the other jars get used and it refills it blah 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 I was thinking about doing that but it would be a lot bigger because the sliding doors are bigger right um, a little bit bigger not much bigger but the only uh, the only thing the only thing that I uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing because you know how things don't really move like they like anchor automatically and stuff or whatever like you would have to have something that uh, probably drops them like I don't know or could use elevators to push no elevators are not good because they keep things anchored to them right so maybe I can't do that hmm. I wish I wish elevators had like a oh god yeah that's not <laughs> that could cause issues probably I mean I think I see what you're talking about. I'll just fill that with a bunch of jars, right? And then have the thing at the bottom where it just hopefully gets one at a time. <laughs> like a little silo of jars.
The only problem about that is that I wouldn't want to grab too many jars, you know what I mean? Like, what if I only needed one jar or something, you know? That would look like it would hit like five jars at once. Or maybe four. Or, some. <laughs> or eight. <laughs> I don't know. But we could do this differently though. Alright, let me try some stuff. Does it get multiple at a time? Well, if the interactors is inside, because if it sticks out far enough, like, um, and it goes through the jar that you're trying to collect or, you know, put in your inventory, it could also reach the jar above it if you're sticking the interactor too far up, like how you have it right now. It's a little too far up. Because the interactors, right, they work only, you can use it from just the tip of that thing, basically. So, let me, so, like, this, right? So, I think, maybe that would do it better. Now, the other problem about this would be, is if... The jar doesn't roll down enough to actually touch the um, interactor. Because, you know, that thing is really skinny, right? So, uh, let me go get... Um, do I have any sliding doors around? Let me go get some sliding doors really quick. Try some stuff. What's up, not a dragon? What is what update is it? The forging update where it adds all the flowers, the fruits, St. Patrick stuff, Easter stuff, all that kind of stuff is gonna be added on uh, Saturday, which is April thirteenth. So I'm just kind of I don't even know if what I'm doing will make anything better for the update or whatever but i'm just trying to do what i can figure out things that we'll need because like if you look at the discord right you'll see this machine right and on this machine you'll see a little picture right here with some jars so i don't know if you have to put jars inside of the machine or if you have to like use the jars when you run around and get fruits maybe you scoop up the fruit into the jar i don't really know it looks like you make something out of it i don't really know i'm curious to i don't really know, I don't know. so let's get some let's get some sliding doors real quick The only problem about using the sliding doors would be that it's another interactor, but it shouldn't be a problem. I mean, not an interactor, but the interactor can you activate it, so you gotta go. Alright, Chad. See you later. Thanks for helping out, by the way. I appreciate it. I probably, oops, probably don't need that many anyways. Let's do five. Just for now. Let's see what we're doing. I probably only need like one, I guess, or two. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see.
Also, what happens if we use uh, this thing that we're making? Uh, we'll figure it out. Do, 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 do. I gotta do some money grinding too. I'm gonna have money. Money, money, money. I do have money on my other save that I can just transfer over actually. I'll do that later. Not too. So, what if, right, what if we use a uh, sliding door? The problem I would have is the door handle. Can't go this This one about there. That would be a problem for this part, probably. Um, let's change planks. Okay, so if I take out all of these, we do something a little. So, this we will have to move also. So, let's move this to there, this to there. Okay. And then this. Oops. This goes into this. Right. Um. These. Well, basically, go like this. Sliding door, just one sliding door. Probably. Hopefully, this works. One or two. Probably don't even need this second door. I'm just doing it to try it. This goes to there. This goes to there. I hope those handles are not going to be a problem, but this, I might just not be able to use that room. Or I would have to stretch those out farther so that that opens that way, right? Yeah, so that opens like that. Okay, let me fill in. Now, I should just be able to stack a bunch of these.
yeah, see, that's what I'm worried about, is the thing not dropping. And it'd probably bug it out if... Yeah, so, let's just say, I needed one jar to drop. And the jar won't drop, so we can't do that actually. Because of the physics in this game are not really good. Or, I mean, uh, it locks everything in basically, or the uh, anchoring system that they have for bases won't work for that. So, that idea is. What happens if I put that there and then I just do jar Oh yeah, because I have too much stuff in my inventory. Um so Let me move this out of the way. So, if I say jar one, yeah, see, it gave me two jars. That's not what I want. Rip. All right. So yeah, this 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 is not going to work with having things drop to the one row. So we're going to have to have interactors for each. Alright, so let's continue what I was doing, I suppose. It's just like a thing to spawn all the jars into my inventory or whatever if when I need them. Kind of like a tool cabinet where you can just spawn stuff to your inventory. Oh man. Mood. 
How do you like the loopity loop? Yeah, you got it, yo. Yes, <laughs> miss all that. So I was testing the thing with the jars like dropping down. It wasn't working. So, and also I also tried uh, a stacking two jars on, like you know, a jar on top of the other jar, and then I used the uh, what's it called, the interactor to get one of the jars, but it got both of the jars. So. Yeah, that, we're gonna have to just do every single jar needs uh, interactor since this game doesn't work very well on bases or things things anchor on bases so things don't move right. Set the time. Set time. What is time? Yeah, this needs to be filmed. How many rows is this? I didn't even count how many rows is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 rows. I don't really need 12 rows, but it's okay. Let's we'll do it. Um, let's just put all these jars into position.
Now that I think about it, we would only need one chat command per maybe uh, per row maybe we could do one chat command per row because or even just one chat command for all because I was thinking um what's it called I did a little test earlier right and I wasn't able to pick up the jar when I had stuff in my inventory, which means it doesn't like we can have all be one thing so that it all gets interacted with and then um, only whatever inventory slots that are empty get filled in basically, I think, or whatever. So. Uh, if that makes sense. Uh, do, 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 do. Oops. I really hope that. This is what we're gonna need to do. Like, I hope we need to get a jar and scoop up all the fruits or something. <laughs> I hope it's not like where you just put the jar inside the machine and then that's it. But that would make sense. It's just, it would just making this would be kind of pointless, basically. <laughs> So this thing I'm making could be completely pointless or it could be completely useful. Um, either way, this will still be good for other things like if you want to hunt for what, what are those, the fireflies, you know? This is a good uh, system to be also catching uh, fireflies and whatever. So, oops. I'm going to move. So whether this works or not, it don't matter. This might be a long stream if possible. I still have to do. I want to, I want to do some grinding to get some more money to so that I have money to buy stuff. I'm not sure how much the new machines are going to cost. is also a nice shelving system for <laughs> storing a lot of the jam or juice or whatever it is. Uh, the St. Patrick's space is just a storage base. <coughs> Literally just storage for all limited stuff, basically. <laughs> that, uh, I don't know. Too much work to clean up that, to be honest.
Yo, 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 what is up, Demon Rage? Welcome back, how you doing today? Another thing I was thinking, what if we had a bunch of jars on the front side, like uh, an elevator thing or whatever, that would push more jars into this just so that it could too big, I think. <laughs> Never mind. Might be too big. I don't want to make anything super bulky. I'm trying to think of ways that would be good to refill something like this. If you look, uh, Demon Rage, basically the badge he's talking about is this one right here. You can see my chat right here. Um, it's the movie projector thing. That's the content creator uh, badge right there. If you can see it, it's really small, but. update is this Friday? Uh, no, the update is actually on Saturday, I think. Because it says the 13th, right? April 13th, which is a Saturday for me. For some people that might be a Sunday or something, but it's weird that they're not bringing it out on a Friday, though. They usually... I think one thing that Hoofer needs to do is 
have like a proper time for updates like whenever there is going to be an update it should always be on like the same type of day like every friday or you know on the on a friday or only on saturdays or something like that I feel the problem is that Hoofer kind of just brings out updates whenever it's they're ready i guess but I feel like there needs to be some better scheduling uh, for things like that. Because sometimes there's updates on Fridays, sometimes there's updates on Saturdays or Sundays. It's like... <laughs> it's, it's weird. How dare you? Ready for my... Bye-bye. Right? Oops. That's my idea. Monday updates. Very rarely there would be an update on Monday. Very, very rarely. I don't think they would... Well, unless... You're a day ahead of me, and that's why it's Monday's for me. Wait, what happened? Bruh, did you just trigger all the... Bruh. Stop. <laughs> ah! Do I have to put all the interactors first? Or do we have to like put all the interactors first and connect them first and then put the jars in? Re yeah, I guess so. Actually, I could just have my inventory full. It doesn't matter too much, I guess. But... Yeah, if my inventory is full, I won't really go into my inventory. So it should be okay. Or does this system... This system will basically, like, whenever I need more jars, it will it will send the jar to my inventory if I have space available. If I say a command, basically. So, like, <clears throat> for the the bottom row, this jar down here, if I say. Well, let me drop one. Let me drop this real quick. Can you move the vehicle out of the way so I can see, please? <laughs> um, yeah. Alright. I'll be right back. So yeah, it just spawns the stuff into your inventory. You didn't hear what? 
It's okay. Nothing I say is important. I was talking to Dragon, but he was busy trolling. Simulating is it good for? <sighs> I mean, if you have a lot of pets to give away, I mean, people like free stuff. The problem about Pet Sim 99 or whatever, or any pet simulator games, is like all you do in the game is grind, collect pets, and if you have a lot of pets, you just give them away or whatever. The giveaways is uh, what a lot of people like, so if you give away like the best pets that you're able to get, make sure you have at least the best pets for your team. That is we're in Among Us. What's up, Marina? How does the jar show up in your inventory? Is this a new logic? Um, this logic has been in the game for a lo like since it came out, basically, or at least the interaction interactors or whatever have been out for that long. Some of these are newer, I guess, but basically, what I'm doing is hooking up um, the chat commanders to uh, and gates into an interactor where I can use a command to uh, interact with one of these jars and put it right into my inventory um, or whatever is like uh, I have available if in space it'll fill it up or whatever so that is kind of what I'm doing how you doing fast so yeah let me let me show you basically what it does so let me draw up a jar right so I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn that jar down at the bottom corner right here into my inventory. Let me just drop all these two just to, for the moment. So if I have a command called jar one and it should oh they spawned all of them. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yeah so basically It'll spawn all the jars into your inventory. You can use this for tools or anything, basically, or whatever. But anything that you can put into your inventory slots, an interactor will spawn it into your inventory, basically. So, let me just. In a sense, that is a good thing that we have it like that, Chad. It's a good, 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 good. Um, I was thinking maybe the command just works for every single one of these, so that it doesn't matter. We only want row, or should should we have one command for each row, or should we have just one command for all? Because technically, one command would be fine. It's just the hard part would just be uh, refilling it all and all that. But <laughs> also, if I do that, then I don't want it. I also don't want this too high. So I, I should probably lower this so that. Let's see. No, because. Because uh, when you when you uh, you know spawn them into your inventory, it only fills in 
like whatever space you have basically in your inventory which is kind of a cool feature for this basically so maybe maybe we make this a little shorter hold on let me change this then we can have one two three four five six I think I'm just gonna do six tall just cuz it'd be easiest for me to reach to six since I'm short you know? I mean you c the top ones are gonna be harder I, I didn't really think about all that until now but I can just make different uh, I can make multiple of these or something so that um, what's it called we'll be able to get more if we need it but let's just have this go to here for now uh, let's get this down here this, that one's two there, this, down, this, down, this. Watch this all be done for not no reason. We just put the, I still, I have a feeling it is just going to be where we just put like the jars inside the machine and that's it. I'm going to be sad if, the, if, if that is what it is. But. Whatever. At least I'll have some sort of fancy jar thing. <laughs> Actually, this you know, this might be a good thing. Either way. But I don't know I don't know how this system exactly works. Maybe it's possible to do. I wanna do an auto fill thing. Like my thought was just having like a sliding like two sliding doors right maybe one sliding door for the first two or you know like one sliding door here and then another sliding door above that and that way when I take like the bottom row these jars would just fall into the next section but things don't fall because things anchor and when things anchor on the base they don't move, right? So, if it's all for nothing, it will be a good for when they have jammed old jars. <laughs> that is true. At least, either way, this will still be a useful thing, even if it's not good enough for the update. It's still going to be useful either way, but... You could use filter conveyors. Do fil do filters filter items, or is it just ores? I forget. Or just ores and woods, or is it all items? Use filter conveyors. The only the only problem about filter conveyors is that they're so big, right? And you can't stretch your... Well, actually, wait. Actually, hold on. I'm going to try something. I do have filter uh, conveyors I could try, actually. I think. Do I? Oh, I don't have. Wait, do I have? I do have. Okay. I could try something. So, if... Me. All right, this is gonna mess up some stuff, but whatever. We'll just fill it back up. Hold up. Let me just take out just just this. Thing. 
the the problem about the filter is that you can't turn it on and off, right? Or can you? Like as in, like, uh, can you prevent it from filtering after it filters? Like, all right, I'm gonna test this out right now. So, oops. So you, you won't be able to see the jars though for the bottom part. Huh? So you won't be able to see. Let's see. Although I, f I have a feeling that things will still get uh, locked, basically. Filter can use these buttons. Oh, so it's like the filter, don't filter. Okay, yeah, so you can kind of have a interactor, maybe. Alright, um, how much more can we switch? So this can go. Now, if I put a jar. Ah, okay, so it does. So... Let me do see what? Okay, so... My question is also, is this above? That's the right one. Okay. So, <clears throat> this might have to stretch out just. The problem with this, too, is that the interactions will be inside of the house. I mean, That could be a problem with the interactors, maybe. So, the question would be I would need another. Up there, and I won't be able to see stuff. The only thing, yeah, the only thing I'm not liking about this filter conveyor thing is that I won't be able to see stuff so far. But let's just see. Uh, what am I doing here? First of all, so right now it won't filter if I do this. Let me just drop these for a moment. See, they don't drop. That's a big problem. Oh, wait, no, they do, but if you're standing around it, I think. So, uh, oh yeah, and then if I, let me just drop my tools really quick. Jar one. So I just got all the jars. Now, if I hit this filter button, see, this is the problem right now, is, is the anchoring on bases. It's not working unless you grab it, right? Yeah, so you have to actually grab it in order for it to drop. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like about this guy. I understand why things anchor to reduce lag and all that, but... Mm. This is why you can't do too many nice things in this game. Uh, 
at least when it comes to making machines or things like this. But, um, yeah, so this the filter conveyor is not going to work, at least how I would want it to. That is pretty cool that it filters items though, but so that's why my stuff's been stopping in the game. Yeah, conveyors are broken, like uh, everything on your base will anchor, and things on conveyors too, they kind of get stuck and freeze a lot too. Like it's just the way it is for the game. I think it's because they did that for performance fixing or whatever, since like before it would be causing a lot of lag probably or something. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have to do this all like so. There's just not gonna be a way to refill it uh, other than manually. The other thing I was thinking, do I have a garage? Let me go get a garage door really quick. Or not a garage door, sorry, elevator. I have an idea. What if we use the elevator to push jars into the thing? It's just it would make it a lot bigger and more annoying, probably. Ah, uh, that wouldn't work so well either, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't like I don't like how elevators are in this game, but because of how they anchor stuff and stick stuff to them or whatever, and they don't unanchor, I think. Yeah, the way I'm doing it is probably the best way to do it. So I'm gonna say. There should be like a base setting option or whatever. Like where you can choose to not have stuff anchored or like, you know, freeze on your base or whatever. So that way we could have cool machines and stuff. And just have it automatically set to on so that people have to choose if they want to turn it off or whatever. So that we can make cool systems and machines and things or whatever. Okay, so No, that's far away. Uh, borderless right here. Let's we'll try it.
go on with that. Um, other question. Small it, make it. Nope, still stuck. <laughs> magic jar. You know, you have to like grab it in order for it to drop, sadly. So, the veyers are not going to be good for this. So yeah, what was it? Um, I just want to see. If this would be possible. This. going on banana kingdom uh, any news about the vehicle updates uh, uh, well I don't think any of us know what's going on with everything in the game like all the vehicles and vehicle attachments so like semi trucks different vehicles things that we can attach to the vehicles None of us really know if they're actually ever going to add that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that they will eventually add it, but I, I have no idea. I feel like Hoofer maybe has given up on all those things for a little bit. He's, he's just working on all these other things now. If is does it let go of the jar when it stops the increase the speed and then if I toggle it back down it sticks to bruh that's so stupid that things stay stuck to the elevator. Hoofer, please add an option to turn off anchoring like seriously. Anchoring in this game is so annoying. I don't, it'd be cool to be able to just like push jars like into place and then, you know what I mean? Just go like bloop. Or what we could do. Wait a second, actually. Well, I just thought. What if we put another jar in the front? Let me move this back. So if we put another jar in front of it, will that one be. Wait, oops. 
would have to also decrease the size of this to be, this can't go any smaller, so this would have to go to here, this would have to go to here, this would have to go to there, we'll push this over for now. What if we did this, right? that one get anchored or no? Okay. And it does get anchored. Bray. Okay. I was hoping that that one would push it in and stay there. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love this game, but like, man. Things in this game kind of just are not that good. I understand why things are the way they are, but it's just so annoying. Anyways, all right, none of, none of the ideas work. The only idea is the original idea, which is just connecting them all to interactors and then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's time to fill it all back up. Minecraft. Should I do some Minecraft tomorrow? Live stream Minecraft. Oh yeah, Chad. Maybe a little bit later or soon, yeah, in a little bit or whatever. Would you be able to help me uh, transfer money to this base from my other base? I said, uh, where I was asking if you would be able to help me transfer money in a little bit from my other, my other save to the save. Everyone left illegal. Try to finish this up and then do you have money transfer.
Matthew going? I don't know. Where the bat is disappeared. All right, so what I'm thinking is all we got to do is just make a bunch of rows of interactors and then we'll just all have them connect to like one thing. That way, um, I think that would be the best way to go about doing this instead of doing like one row at a time or whatever even though one row at a time would be kind of good but at the same time I think triggering them all at once would be good because yeah anyway, it'll just be good I think <laughs> um so <laughs> um we don't need all these chat command things done, I guess, right? So, I'll just, uh, sorry, Chad, but let's do this. What do we have? Yeah, we just need one. I think. Yeah. And then this and that all connected. And then we'll make these. Thing. Now, what we could do is just make it a little bit. Let's move this actually to. Here, I'll move this up a little bit in the center. So, so this. Something like that, right? A jar. I shall put jar. Of interrupters. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's go.
Oops, wait. Oh, I didn't turn it through. There we go. Dive some more tractors. I don't know how to buy some more tractors. tractors. I have more. I think I used them all. Yeah. Alright, let me go get some more. I will need more than this too, actually, but I'll get more in a little bit. <laughs> I should have probably got a lot more than this. Uh, if you're putting a door on it, I would prefer to have a glass, if that's okay. Just so that I'm able to see if any of the jars need to be refilled or whatever.
everyone join it's pizza welcome back pizza Yeah, I'll probably play a little bit of Minecraft after. I'll probably take like a 10 20 minute break after the stream and then maybe like a, yeah, about maybe 10 minute or like 15 minute break or something. And then I'll play uh, some Minecraft. Fire is stacked, I bet. I haven't really done much in the game yet. I literally just dug a hole and that's about it and I died a couple times. Or not yesterday, but I died maybe once or twice then. In total. But it's fun. Alright, yeah, I need more interactors. I need that what's gonna happen. Alright, I was gonna get a bunch. I hope the jars will still be like reused after like reuse with whatever the jam or juice is. Yeah, because like jars are reusable when you use them on like the fireflies and whatever and ghosts. But the question is, is it going to be reusable with the fruits and stuff? I don't know. Matthew's back.
I should make a video on how to make something like this. Don't worry, Chad, I'll give you some credit for helping me out. I also want to make, uh, let's see, and I want to make a little thing for the Easter basket as well, because if we have to hunt for eggs, we'll definitely need Easter basket could have its own separate command and stuff. Muffin man. Just so this looks nicer to the eyes. Stretch this a little bit. Aha! That schematic for what's happening? No, no, no. Uh, I was gonna. I was gonna do something actually. Um, I was thinking instead. Yes. 
sonnet. Mm -hmm. Maybe two sonnets or something. <laughs> uh, I hope they fix glass one day so that you can see like words through it and whatever. What is the purpose of the jar wall? One out of ten, how hyped are you for the update? We've been waiting for this update for how long now? How many months has it been? Or how many weeks has it been? <laughs> I don't even know how long it's been. Um, I'll just put some other stuff there, I guess. So, this. Hmm. I want to move this like this thing. I don't like the glass door popping out so much. Starting to not look good because of the last one. <laughs> it's whatever. Um, Alright, let me move this. Move this out of the way. I think I'll still use that area for something. Now it's good enough. Don't say that. That's not a very appropriate thing to be saying. Alright. Gotta go. Good luck. Alright, Zombie. See you later. Thanks for being here. Sorry, I'm very focused on. Uh, I know you weren't saying that about me, but it did sound kind of sus, but especially when you're doing that. Uh, it's got to be safe, you know what I mean? Um, I'm zoning out right now. Let's go. I'm not saying that you are. I'm just saying that you gotta be careful what we say, you know what I mean? Because anyone with an imagination will know exactly what you're talking about. This has to go down one.
Alright. There's a jar missing. What happened there? So, I don't even know if we'll need the uh, Easter basket to be honest, but just in case we are having a Easter egg hunt thing or whatever, we'll need the basket. And there it is. We got all of our jars in this little tool cabinet with the uh, Easter basket on the side. So. If we do end up needing this for the update, we'll have it. If not, we can always use this for, I don't know, hunting for fireflies or ghosts or whatever, but at least it's something kind of cool. I don't know. Uh, but basically what this does is like, let's say you're out and about and you're hunting for jam or the fruits or whatever or fireflies right let's just say fireflies just to be on the safe side so basically if we ran out of jars in our inventory we need more of these jars right and we're off of our base right Let's say we're way out here and we found something over here that we need to collect with the jar or whatever. And we don't have any more. We'll just do uh, jar one. And then boom, now we have a whole bunch of jars. From a million miles away, we can spawn all the stuff we need. And uh, pretty cool, right? And all the other jars are still in there. As you can see, it just took, I guess it just takes that one around. Cool. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't even know if this will be useful for the update, but it's something. <laughs> I might make a video on this just so that people can figure out how to build it. Um, what do you guys think of it? And then I also got the spot for the Easter basket, right? So let's put I'm just gonna say bunny. And then I got the Easter basket in the door. Anyways, oh yeah, before we end this too, uh, I wanna transfer money to this save. So Chad, I'm gonna need your help. Let me rejoin.
Send you two million dollars. Uh, I gotta be careful. It's been a lot. <laughs> I send you two million. So I think we only do one million at a time. join and I'll have to turn on my donation so that you can send me the should be able to send the money thank you appreciate it let's go so we built this little tool cabinet thingy for all the jars basically in the basket couple other things to keep in mind if there is going to be an easter egg hunt um, I remember like last year when the easter egg event came out we could just build like a platform on our base and put it in the sky and all the eggs start spawning on it although I think they fixed that at the end or something I forget I don't know anyways and for St. Patrick's stuff, you just need money, I think, right? So there's not really anything you need to collect stuff, unless it's going to be different. I wonder if they're going to add quests for the update, you know? That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know what else to do. Do you guys have any other suggestions or ideas of what to do to get ready for the big update? Yeah, $50 Alright, let me go let me go get Nate. He's the rich man around here. <laughs> I have a clean base, I guess. True. True. I do need to do a base cleaning, but I could do that tomorrow, maybe, instead of Minecraft. 
Or I could do two streams tomorrow, maybe. Maybe. But. Uh, I don't know. I could do uh, some cleanup tomorrow for this space and work on some more stuff that would be needed for this because we can set up a better thing for didn't make I didn't brick make a video on uh, a thing for like crates and stuff or whatever. Did he ever make a tutorial or was it just a video about it? From what I remember he just made a video about something that he made but he didn't really make a tutorial for it. Unless he did. But <clears throat> I don't know. I should see if I should see if Brick would maybe want to help modify my drop off or something so that I could uh, have crates also falling into like my vehicle or whatever and crates into the drop off. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to do that. I don't think that's really necessary to be honest. I don't know. I think crates would be actually pretty good for this update just because you'll have a bunch of small things like a bunch of fruits and whatnot. So crates could possibly be a good thing. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so tomorrow we'll do some more prepping for the update. We will clean this base up a little bit and kind of just organize and figure out how we're going to do things for the update. And uh, yeah, if you guys can think of anything else I can do to get ready for the update, let me know. And we can talk about what else. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the stream here though. It's been a long stream. It's been three hours just about <sighs> crazy long stream today and I didn't really do much today to be honest I just made that little cabinet or the, the thing for the jars shout out to Chad for helping me with the logic on that and helping me build it and whatever appreciate it man 24 hours. Do you get? Oh yeah. Speaking of 24 hours, or not? Oh, I won't. Probably won't do a 24 hour stream, but maybe like a. What if I streamed all night on Friday night? Just do an all night stream, waiting for the update. It's gonna be a very boring stream, but. Yeah. <laughs> At least I won't be sleeping in. I'll be there if I don't got homework. Sounds good. Alrighty, everybody. It's been fun. It's been good. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed the stream enjoyed the view and all that good stuff if you guys did enjoy the view please don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell button do all that shenanigans and I shall see you all later peace for now and goodbye e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e